with Brandon Childs, head coach of the York College Spartans. They defeat Bates this afternoon, 19-8, the final. Coach, we just had a chance to talk for just a minute. Last night, you guys beat FNM, 10 players scored. You were proud of that. Today, the exact same thing, 10 players scored for York. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, when you come and you play back-to-back, -back, depth is obviously going to be a big factor. And I thought we, you know, no matter who we put out there, we, we offensively we were, managed to put the ball on the goal. And um, I think that depth is going to pay off as the year goes on. Last night it was Harnick that had six goals for you. Today Dylan Wolf had five. So, you know, you've got a lot of different players that can do a lot of different things. Yeah, Dylan's been doing this a long time. And, um, you know, he, he got injured early and missed a little bit in the preseason. And he's just starting to kind of get into his rhythm. And it was good a good game for him to come out and, you know, get some confidence. But he's, he's a great shooter. And no surprise in our locker room that he was able to put five in today. You know, I didn't realize this last night, but I did a little research today. When you lost the two games to Salisbury and RIT coming into this tournament, that was the first time that your team had lost two in a row in about seven years, yeah. uh, 2015, if I'm not mistaken. So what, what was the mood and what was the message that you were telling your team coming into Owings Mills this weekend? Yeah, I mean, I, I think like going back to my days as a player, um, it's something that my coach, Coach Kadalka, uh, obviously whose who's team's here, um, he really preached, you know, and, and so as a player, um, it was kind of instilled in me, we, we, won't, we won't lose back to back. And so, um, but as I mentioned yesterday, whether you win, lose one or you lose two in a row, regardless, you're going you're gonna to focus in and, and get better as a result of those challenges for sure. Talk about your extra man unit six for seven today. Yeah, we've started off the year slow there, and we spent a lot of time this week working on that area, and we made some personnel changes. We changed what we were doing a little bit, and I give my offensive coordinator, Ryan Jenner, a ton of credit. He um, He's worked with that unit. Um, he's a great coach, has a great eye for the game, and he, he put us in sets that I think suit our, our, our players better and gives them confidence and freedom to just make plays instead of being robots. Talk about Vinny at the dot today. I think he was 20, I think well, your team was 25 for 30. And then the battle on the ground, you dominated there also. Yeah, no, I, I think um, B Bates is scrappy there. I really liked yesterday when I was watching them, the wings and their short stick D middies and how hard they battle. And it was something that we really, really stressed this morning when we met as a team um, that we were going to have to win those wing battles. Um, and then our second guy, Hugo Spencer, who's just a freshman, came in um, and, and did really well too. And those two guys have certainly um, sharpened each other throughout the year. And I'm proud of proud of that whole unit, the, the face-off guys, and then also the wings. Well, it was a successful weekend. There's no doubt. Congratulations on that. you got a long way to go. And uh, good luck the rest of the way. All right. Thanks a lot. Appreciate right. it. That, that is Brandon Charles, head coach of uh, York College. They defeat Bates this afternoon. 19-8 Mustang Classic, day two.